We will continue to bring positivity to your day as we deal with all of this difficult news. And today we're continuing our series for Women's History Month, highlighting female leaders working in finance. Here's Denver 7's Abby Rosenblum. The year I turned 26, I made $49 million, which really pissed me off because it was three shy of a million a week. If you don't know the movie, you recognize the scene, a, a room full of men on Wall Street. Finance is another industry we're highlighting in honor of women changing history month. You might not know just how many women are really paving the way. It's not like Wolf of Wall Street where things are crazy. It's not that much of a men's club as it's made out to be. And if anything, it's a really promising career. I've entered into, you know, industries that their women just weren't present, where some of my age wasn't there. But I just never thought in a million years that I couldn't do something. And it's only becoming more promising for women, with 46% of financial service employees being female. That's according to Forbes. I'm most proud that I never thought I couldn't do something. That's not to say this was easy. Early on in my career, and I thought that people would already have um, an idea, me just walking in the room, they would say, oh, she's a dumb blonde. I was afraid to say anything that would make me look stupid. And Amanda proved them all wrong. Doing everything from starting multiple companies, marketing, private equity, investments, and now an exciting new venture. Of course, all of my partners are male, uh, but what is very, also very exciting is that they have asked me to be the CEO. The number one thing we as men can do is just sit back and listen. I think we can really hold space and allow for you to create from a whole new mindset. Devin has made it his mission to empower women as a board member on the Colorado Women's Chamber of Commerce and through his investment firm, Allow. He works with Amanda there, and they know the importance of female leaders, especially in this industry. When it comes to the executive level, only 15% of women are there. When you lead with feminine energy and you um, lead with your heart and kindness and caring, males and females, they get motivated by it. You get higher workplace satisfaction, um, lower turnover, and therefore it helps increase profitability and your ROI. The power of what we can do and by sitting back and actually listening to you instead of projecting onto you uh, will be incredible. My name is Amy Bertle and I am the founder of the financial literacy programs for Boys Hope Girls Hope. It's a nonprofit organization that guides motivated young people in need to become well educated and career ready. Yes, you use numbers, but a lot of it is personal connection. It's really important to empower our girls to be strong, educated women, that they feel like they can do what they want to be able to do. There's not that many programs, especially in, in high school, um, about finance. We, we learn about so many things in high school and we forget about this, which is I feel like it's something that we're gonna do the rest of our life, so it's necessary. I didn't know I wanted to be a financial advisor until my dad made me go to the first interview. He was like, for the love of God, just get off the couch and it checked all the boxes of what I wanted for a career. And, and thank you, dad, for making me go to the interview. <laughs> So what's the hope for the future? If you believe in yourself, once your foot is in the door, even if you were hired to be the darn garbage man, <laughs> um, you can make your mark. Every week we'll be highlighting these untold stories right here on Denver 7. And make sure you head to the DenverChannel.com. We'll have resources and even some contact info for many of the women you just heard from. So you can find out how you can pave the way too.